We're here with Trek Chats, your internet source for the offbeat, fan-based news you crave about the Star Trek series. Beaming you behind-the-scenes facts, expert opinions, and fascinating ideas about the planet's most renowned science fiction show. We spoke to an enthusiastic group of fans at a Grand Slam Star Trek convention in Burbank, California, and they had a line of other fans lined up to take their pictures. They liked their costumes so much, we asked them why they'd been so drawn to the show over the years. What got me into Star Trek is the fact that it shows hope for the future, is that we can get past our petty jealousies and, and emotions and basically work together for a common good and to be honorable. And I think a lot of those qualities, if we had them today, there wouldn't be all these wars that we're having. There wouldn't be so many prejudices and people feeling ostracized. Everyone will feel equal, and that's what makes the series and the show attractive. Sounds like it's going to be possible. I've defended my position as a Star Trek person for so long as I even funny. And if it wasn't for Star Trek, most of the technology we have today, we wouldn't have it. Star Trek is responsible for people exploring antimatter. It's for flip phones, communicators, iPads, all based off the show. Doors that open by themselves. You know, even now, scientists have finally figured a way to do a teleportation. Mind you, the teleport is only a molecule. Yeah, but they've also experimented with warp drive holograms, all from the show. People see the show, and they go, well, yeah, why can't we do that? And it gives birth to a lot of science. So Star Trek, in a way, hopefully, will continue to be self, self-prophecy. And maybe we will eventually reach a world where people are all people, no matter what they are. How are the writers so intuitive, do you think? It's just what happens that people speak. Everything, in my opinion, in this world starts as a dream. Someone thinks of a thought, and then they try to make it reality. So they thought of something, if, what could we do, what we would love to see. And then they make that, they put it on TV, and other people go, yeah, why can't we do that? And they apply their knowledge, and they get together, and wind up doing it. So that's what makes it really awesome. So that's what I like about it. It really shows a lot of different facets of it. Of humanity. I mean, if you look, we have the beginnings of, of data, so to speak. We have Siri, which is kind of like, in a way, it's an android, per se. It tries to understand what we're saying and feedback through sophisticated programming. And it's only a matter of time before we get to pass that fuzzy logic and we actually have walking, thinking, intelligent life. Drones right now that are controlled by humans also have programs when they can't, that they can rationalize self-point targets and everything else. It's the future's coming, just a bit at a time. Uh, what's your name? Nathan. Uh, oh, Nathan Adams. Can I use that if I put it on a... Yes, you can. For, all right. And what do you okay. do for a living? I'm a computer tech.